a few minutes early, so um, <clears throat> just wanted to say hello and uh, see how everybody's doing. Um, give everybody just a few minutes to log in, but I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas, um, safe and Happy New Year, and uh, wishing you all lots and lots of um, blessings, health, happiness, prosperity, all of the good things that we want all of our loved ones, friends, and family to enjoy for 2020. So um, we definitely want to make sure that um, if you ever need anything, even if it's just uh, us including you in our prayers, um, don't hesitate to reach out. We, um, we love keeping you in our thoughts and prayers and uh, making sure that um, you have uh, good health and prosperity too. So um, I have some fun things to go over and then I've also got some market uh, information to go over as well. So um, have uh, just a few more minutes. It's only 1027, so don't know if uh, um, we'll have very many people join in since we're still right after the new year, but uh, I'm going to give everybody a few more minutes anyway uh, to try to hop in and uh, hop on before we get going, but um, we actually, when we, um, for Christmas, we went all over everywhere and then uh, actually celebrated Christmas, Christmas Day at uh, my brother-in-law's house, um, went to see my dad over in Azel on um, the day before Christmas Eve, and then uh, went to my aunt on Saturday, so we were kind of running around all over everywhere, but um, then New Year's, um, actually Christmas Eve, I got sick and uh, didn't get to see you guys last week. So uh, I wanted to kind of double up and have a little bit of information um, for you. But um, uh, New Year's, we just stayed home, watched movies, and I made some black-eyed peas and cornbread. <laughs> so a uh, nice, easy, uh, calm night at the house. But um, anyway, um, so New Year's resolutions. Don't know if you guys have any New Year's resolutions. I prefer to call them goals. Um, a New Year's resolution to me just doesn't seem like it's going to uh, come to fruition because you have to set a new one every single year. But uh, when you have goals and you have um, things that you want to put forth in your life and speak into existence, I think that's always a good thing. So um, we have uh, some pretty hefty goals that we have set up for this year. Every Friday I'm going to do a video. Um, I'm probably going to start sending out more videos to um, my clients as we go through the year too. I got to figure out uh, my YouTube channel, so I'm um, gonna have that going for us, and uh, that we'll be able to send out some information to current and past clients, uh, just helpful market information and things that are going to, to basically be changing throughout the year. So, um, when you set a New Year's resolution. Number one, you want to make sure that you put some things in place so that it can be consistent. So there's a pretty fun Friday, Friday fun fact that uh, New Year's resolutions, only 80%, 80% of them fail. So um, reason for that is uh, it takes over 60 days or over two months for you to do something and have it become a habit. So um, if you want to have a goal, if you want to have a New Year's resolution, if you want to do any of those things, however you want to call it, um, you definitely want to make sure that you are consistent, you do it on a regular basis, and you have no less than eight weeks of time block, however you need to do that to make sure that that actually happens because most people lose the resolve for their New Year's resolution by the mid, my mid February, and it takes over two months for something to become a behavior or a habit. So make sure that you do that. Make sure that uh, you've got your time blocking in place. Make sure that you've got those goals set out. Write them down. Post them somewhere. Um, put it somewhere where you can see it on a daily basis, and you will be surprised at how easy it is to make sure that those things happen because if you're seeing it every day, if you're doing it every day, if you're implementing it, I'm a um, 
I'm a calendar girl, so everything is on my calendar. If it's not on my calendar, it won't happen. So um, I put everything on my calendar, make sure that it's there, I make sure that it's time blocked, and I make sure I accomplish everything that was on my daily calendar before I leave and go home. So anyway, um, New Year's resolutions, goals, whatever you want to do, make sure that you do them for over two months. Stay consistent, stay um, very diligent about what you want and make sure that you make that, um, that you're part of the 20% that actually um, follows through with their um, resolutions. Hey, David, hi. <laughs> I am so super nervous about doing this. Thank you guys for all joining in. Um, so housing market, um, some cool information. Housing market is going to be great. It's going to continue to improve. Um, our millennials, our millennials are now from 30 to 39. Our oldest millennials are now 39 years old. So um, the oldest millennials are 39. So the number one driver for home ownership is children, whether or not you have children. So um, pretty cool statistic. Um, the number one driver for home ownership is whether or not you have kids. Um, home ownership percentage, if you don't have any kids in that millennial time, in the millennial age group, um, the home ownership rate is at only at 38%. If they only have one kid, it jumps all the way to 80%. If they have more than one child, it's at 82%. So if you know anybody in that, um, you know, in that millennial category and they don't own a home yet, they probably will be as soon as they start having kids. So um, this is going to be a really, really good year for us to start pushing. Um, the housing market is going to continue to appreciate around here um, for the next couple of years. Um, it is possible we'll go into a recession either in um, the end of 2020 or into 2021. Once we do hit a recession, the interest rates may come back down again. So um, the rates are still good right now. Feds are actually buying $100 billion a month in um, mortgage-backed securities. So they're keeping inflation down, they're keeping the rates down, they're keeping everything down. So um, make sure that um, you know that rates are gonna stay low. I say probably below the 5% or right around that 5% or under range for a 30-year fixed rate um, over the next 12 months. So if you need to do um, cash out refinances, if you need to do renovations on your home, um, upsize, downsize, or if you just know friends and family that are going to be looking to purchase, or if they need to refinance, I'm happy to sit down, do a consultation with them, and see what uh, program and um, everything best fits their needs. We do kind of a financial advisory on your mortgage products. So wanna make sure that we sit down, have a consultation with you, figure out what is your short-term goals, long-term goals, and be that advisor as far as your mortgage. So um, thank you guys all for hopping in and joining in. If you have questions about any of this information, please don't hesitate, reach out. My um, team number here at the office is 972-755-4876. And if you know anybody who's looking to buy, sell, or refi, remodel, any of those things, uh, let me know. I happen to know a really good uh, uh, construction person that's uh, in my family that would love to uh, help you either build a home or do some remodeling. So just a little same, shameless plug for my brother. <laughs> um, anyway, if you guys uh, have any questions, need anything, give me a shout. I'll see you next Friday. Um, at 10.30 for Fun Fact Friday. Talk to you later. Bye.